Recycling is great. Converting old paper into new paper, recycling plastic into park benches, even turning food waste into new food. Ew. Guys, we shouldn't tell people to eat garbage. Oh, wait, it's called composting? Who knew? Big can tell us more. The key to farming has always been dirt. That's where all the best plants want to live. But how do you get the good dirt? The dirt that makes plants go, ooh yeah, that's the right stuff. Well, by composting. To find out more about the magic of composting, today I'm meeting with farmer and activist, Karen Washington. Living in a low-income neighborhood, I found that the food was not desirable. And that for me, I had to go outside of my neighborhood to find decent fruits and vegetables. And I said to myself, why? In the greatest country in the world, where we grow enough food and we waste enough food, that food is not getting down to the people that need it the most. I wanted to make change. And I made change by becoming very vocal and proactive instead of reactive. Karen's commitment to bringing healthy food to her community started in her backyard. But after fighting to bring gardens to the Bronx and beyond, she became one of the country's leading advocates for urban farming. After retiring from her career as a physical therapist, she joined some friends to found Rise and Root Farm in Orange County, New York. Today, Karen's showing me how we can use science to help people by helping the soil itself. Wow, it's really soft. Yeah. My goodness. And this is what we call black gold because normally soil is maybe 3% organic matter. Yeah. Here in the black dirt region of Orange County, 40% organic matter. So what makes this soil different from other dirt? The elements that really plants need are nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus. This soil has all this organic matter and also has microorganisms in it that we can't see. What do microorganisms do? It helps with the root system. It takes all the toxins out and yeah. they work together. But believe it or not, there's bacteria and fungi working together to make the plant healthy. So there's more to farming than just adding water. There's an entire ecosystem that you have to consider. This organic matter gives so much and you can misuse it by being extractive, pulling out plants all the time. And what we try to do to bring back the nutrients is do composting. Wow, <laughs> look at this. There's three stages of compost. First is the mesophilic phase, the thermophilic phase, and then the end result. So what's the first step? Adding browns and greens. So the browns are mostly uh, twigs and leafy material. And then the greens are a lot of fruits and vegetables. We start by digging a hole. Then we pour in our greens and even add some compostable paper. Finally, we cover it all up to keep out creatures we don't want, like rodents and maggots. Wow, might as well call you Farmer Fig. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm definitely going by Farmer Fig now. The organisms at the mesophilic stage break down easily degradable compounds. Bacteria, fungi, earthworms, centipedes all get together and start breaking things down. Mm -hmm. Then what happens? It's the thermophilic phase, <laughs> and that's when they heat. The heat gets in there. The mesophilic microorganisms generate heat, making a nice warm home for a different class of microbes that consume harder to digest waste like proteins, fat, and cellulose. During the thermophilic stage, the inside of the pile can get over 140 degrees Fahrenheit. As the compounds break down and are used up, the pile cools down and becomes the final compost. If you think about the amount of food waste we have, at least 90% of our food waste goes into landfills. We can take that food waste and turn it into compost and give back to the environment. It's kind of like recycling old material and turning into something new. Correct, and that's what compost is all about. You've taught me so much about composting and farming and the science behind it all, which has been really amazing, so thank you. You're quite welcome. It was so great spending the day with you dishing the dirt. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.